In this fat girl video, we demonstrate how to perform corneal cytology collection. Corneal cytology can be quite helpful in diagnosing certain disease processes, such as bacterial infection or eosinophilic keratitis. In this video, we have a 12-year-old male castrated domestic short hair presenting with conjunctivitis and corneal changes. Closer examination reveals a pink to white film on the cornea. The first step to obtain corneal cytology is to make sure the patient is comfortable and amenable to collection. In the vast majority of cases, topical anesthesia with preparacaine or tetracaine is sufficient. There are two good options for the instrument used to obtain the sample. The blunt end of a scalpel blade works well and is readily available. Alternatively, a specialized cytobrush works great. In addition, you'll need glass microscope slides and routine diff-quick stain. As shown in the video, the assistant is properly stabilizing the cat's head by placing one hand under the chin and the other behind the head. The clinician then uses the blunt end of the blade, or cytobrush, to gently scrape the area of cellular infiltration to obtain an adequate sample. The sample is then directly smeared onto a glass slide, stained, and then evaluated under the microscope. Bet girls tip, do not use cotton tip applicators. While they collect the sample well, they do not allow it to stick to the glass slide and thus the samples obtained are generally of poor quality. We also recommend choosing your cases wisely. Be sure to obtain the sample safely and do not sample an ulcer if it's excessively deep or already perforated. This feline patient ended up having eosinophilic keratitis. As can be seen under the microscope, the cytology obtained from the corneal infiltrate contained corneal epithelial cells and numerous white blood cells, including neutrophils and notably eosinophils.